Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Today we're going to talk about uh, the meeting between, seems to be uh, between the Pope and the Russian Patriarch. And that's going to happen in the neutral uh, location, or a neutral location. Hmm. Alright, let's see. This article comes from Reuters and it says that Pope to visit Kazakhstan may meet Russian Orthodox Patriarch. All right, from August 1st, 2022, which is today. Vatican City. Pope Francis will attend a meeting of religious leaders in Kazakhstan in September, the Vatican said on Monday, a gathering where he said he has said previously he hoped to meet with a Russian Orthodox Patriarch who backs the war in Ukraine. <laughs> Did you hear that? Who back? Okay. How about how many bowls he's got? Can you let us know about that one? Is that important? Or what's his uh, sexual preference? Francis is set to be in the capital Nur Sultan from September 13 to September 15 to attend the 7th Congress of Leaders of World and Traditional Religious, the Vatican said. Okay, the Pope has said in several recent interviews that he hopes to meet in the Kazakh capital with the Patriarch Kirill, who has given his full-throated backing to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which began... <laughs> okay, all right, Francis has planned to meet Kirill on June 14 in Jerusalem, but cancelled that meeting on the advice of Vatican diplomats. I thought he's the boss. Uh, all right, well... If the September meeting takes place, it would be only their second after they met in Cuba in 2016. All right, that's nice. The thing is, um, it says the Ukraine, Ukraine war has caused the rift between the Vatican and the Russian Orthodox Church. I think that is, uh, it's B and S, a BS, uh, that, uh, the translation for uh, the rift was actually started, and it's still there. It started in 1056, or 1054, I'm sorry, when it was the first schism between the Catholics and the rest. So uh, 1054, the first great schism in the Christian church. That's when, and since then, these guys went apart. Catholics and the rest. And then there are minor schism, and there was another schism, the second schism, when again they both excommunicated one another. Uh, the Pope uh, sent an emissary, he came over there and he excommunicated the pa Patriarch in Constantinople, and the other guy sent a guy to Rome and excommunicated, excommunicated the Pope, and like this. All right, no problem. The thing is, I don't remember when they made peace, because you see, this is the religious uh, arm, hand, and this is the military, okay? And I can put the military together with a political hand or arm. This influenced until quite recently, this influenced this. And uh, the clear, clearest examples are, for instance, the Crusades, which were not only directed towards the uh, infidels, the uh, Muslims, but how did they get over there? On whose territory? The Eastern Roman Empire, which was controlled by Constantinople, right? By the Byzantium. And they went and they even sacked Byzantium and so on. So they were never friends. And I don't remember when they made peace. Do you? Since when uh, Kirill is friends with uh, the Pope, the Patriarch? When, when did these guys mend fences and say, you know what, we're good. The same thing is over here. Look, for instance, the situation right now. Look who's against who. Look, for instance, I'm making maybe a far-fetched uh, connection here. But the Russians are talking about the collective West, the Anglo-Saxon model and the Anglo-Saxon coalition. They leave friends, you know, when Italy is just outside of that and they refer to Australia New Zealand which is anyway we got Great Britain United States 
and Canada. These are the five right here. These are the main guys. This is the coalition. The rest are satellites. France, Italy, Germany. Germany is just the bottom feeder clear because they're afraid of Germany because Germany might do stuff. <laughs> okay. So these guys, look who they are against. A Slavic country. Coincidental, no, is a uh, is a um, Orthodox country, and then look at Serbia. Slavic country, Orthodox. Well, I'm just uh, you know. The same seem to be the same influence, but as I said, this is a far fetch. Pay attention to this. Pay attention to this. So when they pretend that they are so friends and so on. No. Why? Since when? Since when? I want to know when they, they became friends. No. If tomorrow one of these guys would be able to use this arm, the military or a hand, to take care of the other one, they will do it. Because they still think in the same way they did 2000 years ago. Why? Because nothing changed in their scripture. It's still there. And they believe in that. They believe in that. You can't not believe in that. Because if you don't believe in the scripture, then you buy buy. You have to believe. Why? Because the scripture is the direct uh, uh, word of God. That's what they say. You have to take everything from the Bible as true and divine. You, 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 you. No? It was un under the, in the divine influence. That's how it was, you know. Uh, Moses spoke with God and then he came and spoke to the people and mostly everybody was you know under this kind of uh, that's why we have prophets prophet prophecies coming from divinity so these guys are not you know one two three ABC which is their their way but the, my point is these guys are not friends and they will not be friends and I'm not talking about the dudes the Francis and Kirill these are going it's the idea is two separate thing. And they, they don't have too many things. Uh, uh, um, the Catholics, for instance, and the Greek Orthodox, they don't have too many things that are not the same. I mean, everything almost is the same, maybe with three or four changes. Uh, not changes, uh, differences. One is the filique. All right. That's how the Holy Spirit comes from God the Father, you know, through the Son and uh, Holy Spirit. The other one say no, actually it's in the triangle. It goes around, they all have it. That's one. The other one is the position of the Pope. It's a, a, a second uh, idea. And then is the 1,000 years idea or thousands of years. Okay, this is the idea. They, some interpret it that in thousands, 1,000 years will come back. The other one is no, thousands of years. And uh, the kingdom will be here for thousands of years, only for 1,000 big deal all right and that's some some little uh, little um, for instance the iconography like uh, for instance the catholics have just a sculpture over there they don't have paintings and so on whereas the orthodox have paintings that's a big deal oh that's idly you know people are you know you uh, how do how do you call it idolizing idols and so on. So these are the main differences. Do you think that they cannot figure something out and say, okay, let's really, what does it matter? It's 1,000, it's thousands. We'll find out anyway, because they say it's not 1,000 because it's uh, God's years are not our years. So that's why we, we never, because when it was 1,000, they said, it's the end of the world. It didn't happen, obviously. They said, no, 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 how can we justify this? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. God's God's uh, God's years are different than ours. And besides, over there, a verse where it says that no one knows when my father comes back, when the, I'm coming back, or the day God decides to, you know, all these kind of things. So that's fine. That's their thing. I nothing against it. But it's just that they're not uh, dogmatic ideas that cannot be, uh, you know, reconciled between them. No, it's the, the organizations, these gangs are so well uh, organized that they don't want to give power. They have the whole structure. What do you think they, they want? No, no. I don't want to give some bad examples here now, but 
This is my neighborhood, that's your neighborhood. Why do you want what? It's only one, it can't be two. So who's gonna who's gonna lose? So it's a constant, you know, one another. And the West was winning so far. The West. You know. So this is with this guy's meeting. To do what? Blah blah blah. Kiss a little bit pictures in front of the camera and then they go back and they take their swords and they're ready to fight. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Uh, stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.